Let's just say you wanted to do linear regression and you wanted to use Excel. Well, I'm going to show you how to do that. The first thing you're going to need is some data. And here we have data where we are predicting students' grade point average from family income. All right, so we might think that as income increases, so would grade. Okay, so we're going to go to the data analysis tool pack. I'm going to hunt through the list and find regression. Click OK. I'm going to select my data, starting with the dependent variable. And then I'm going to select the independent variable. Right, since there are labels in the first row, I'm going to check that box. I'm going to check residuals and I'm going to check standardized residuals. Okay, this is just going to give us some more information when I get the output. Click OK. And then Excel does all the work again. And uh, we have some uh, data to analyze now, some statistical calculations have been done. And uh, the multiple R here is the correlation. Okay, so uh, these things are moderately correlated, 0.52 about. All right, the R square here tells us how much of the variance of Y can be explained by changes in X. Okay, and uh, as I move along here, moving down, I have SSE, so this is the sum of the squares of explained error, and I have SST, the sum of the total error. All right, so if I divide SSE by SST, I end up with R squared. Okay, and the other number is the unexplained error. Okay, the 289.429. Alright, so I move down to the bottom here. This is the equation of the line. Okay, so we expect that if uh, the family income was zero, so the y-intercept, okay, in this case is 73.33, all right, that implies that with a family income of zero that you should be able to get an average grade of 73.33, okay? And for every increment increase in family income, uh, you can expect the grade point average to go up by 0.91445. Okay, all right, and as I look down at the bottom, we have, let me just fix this a little bit. Okay, uh, we have what the um, predicted student grade point average is, so that's what I get when I click the uh, plot, um, uh, uh, normal residuals. All right, those two check boxes that I checked at the end, this is what I get is the uh, predicted grade point uh, for uh, a particular income. All right, so this is what we predicted. All right, and this is the difference from uh, what I predicted uh, and what was actually true. All right, so uh, for the first person, I was supposed to get a 79.33 according to the equation, and they ended up uh, somewhere around the 72, it looks like. Okay. All right, so sort of moving back up to the output here, we're going to need to evaluate whether or not the regression or the slope of the regression is significant. Okay, and so we have two, uh, two values here that can help us do that. We have a T stat. All right, we can't really do anything without that unless we know the T critical. Okay, but I can do something with the P value. Okay, P value is 1, 2, uh, 3, 6. And, you know, generally p-values are going to be, uh, or uh, alphas are going to be 0 0.05, 0 0.01. Uh, in either case, no matter what the alpha is, uh, we wouldn't be able to reject the hypothesis. And the hypothesis test for a linear regression, for a uh, regression coefficient, uh, states that the uh, slope is not significantly different from zero. That's the null hypothesis. The alternative is, well, it is different from zero. Okay, and so here we have a p-value of 0.1236. We don't have enough evidence to reject the null. All right, so we're not going to be able to actually use this 
uh, by itself uh, as a predictor for uh, student performance. Okay, and you know student performance is a little weird anyway because uh, it's going to be capped at the highest you can get is a hundred. Okay, income obviously can go up much higher than that. Okay, so uh, probably anyway not the best um, the best indicator for what people are doing uh, with their grades. Okay, uh, over here yeah for some reason Excel always puts in the confidence interval twice, but this is the confidence interval of the slope okay and so it runs from negative 0 0.066 up to 0.45534 okay and so we're 95 percent confident that the true slope is somewhere in that range right since it includes zero uh, we cannot conclude that the uh, the slope is different from zero alrighty then so that's uh, linear regression using Excel. Thank you.